Hi, my name is Erin Schmitz, and I'm the program manager at the historic sites at the Lakeshore Museum Center. And as promised, we have a big reveal for you today, and we're really excited to share that with you. And today is our annual training that we do with all of our interpretive staff that give uh, tours at the Hackley and Hume Houses, uh, the School Nick House of the Depression Era, and the Fire Barn Museum. So as you can see, this is all of our staff and volunteers <laughs> who are excited to see you this summer. And they're excited about this big reveal because they don't know what it is either. And so I have Aaron here. Um, he's the assistant program manager and you might have recognized him from a couple of the other videos that we've done. Um, and so he's going to tell you a little bit about this project and we are going to reveal the big surprise. All right, well, I'll do my best to tell you without giving it away. Uh, so the thing that we've been working on uh, for most of the winter is kind of something that's been missing from the Hackley House. We're not exactly sure for how long, but it's been, I would guess, probably over 100 years, a very long time. Uh, this is something the Hackleys actually had uh, that we've been looking for. I think people have been looking for this object since this house became a museum back in the 1970s. And we've basically been told that because this item was so rare that we would never find one, it was just gone forever, that we wouldn't be able to find one. And then we did, which was pretty <laughs> awesome. So in early February, I just searched for this item on Google just to see what came up. And lo and behold, there was a gentleman selling this on Craigslist in New Jersey. And I contacted him and said, I work at the Lakeshore Museum Center and we're really interested in this item. And over the next two months, we worked out the payment and the shipping all the way from New Jersey right here to Muskegon. So you might have seen the teaser video earlier this week, and that was the delivery of this item here to the Hackley House. And uh, so it's finally back here after all these years. And so if you guys are ready, we can head over to the dining room and I can show you what it is. Yeah. So the pocket door is closed here. So you got it. Oh! So this is the big item this year. This is the Bundy Hot Closet Radiator, is what it was called. Wow. So the Hackleys had one in this room, in this exact spot. We have this photo of the dining room from when the Hackley's lived here, and you'll see that we have it in the exact same spot, right there. And we've had the bottom radiator piece uh, for a long time, but we've been missing the top, which was taken out of the house at some point. We don't know what happened to it. But this is kind of, uh, I've heard someone describe it as a Victorian microwave, I guess. It's a plate warmer. Yeah, it could be a plate warmer a plate. or food warmer. So back if you were eating the multiple course meals like Victorians often did, uh, maybe the thing that was next in line but wasn't ready to be eaten yet, you could put in here to keep it warm. Uh, they also advertise it as being able to um, keep a cup of tea to the perfect drinking temperature, which was 140 <laughs> degrees. Uh, you could put things on top, as you'll see here, but also these really ornate uh, doors, which we have on here, these do open. And inside, you'll see that there's a few shelves, and if you get close enough to look, it even says Bundy Hot Closet in the scroll work of the shelves there. Oh uh, well, yeah, we've thought about putting some dishes in there and then kind of keeping it open. And then we really want to make this a focal point this year because this is a really awesome new thing to have here. So yeah, we were amazingly excited. We couldn't believe that we had found this because we've been told we would never find one. And here it is. Uh, and this project was largely possible because we had some financial help from it. Um, the Questers, who are the group that typically de uh, decorate this room at Christmas time, and they've also helped with a lot of the special projects in here, uh, helped us uh, fund this. So I believe Judy would like to say some word about that. Yay! Well, 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 well. appreciate this having them call us and say we found this because we've been looking but we have no clue what we're looking for right <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you I'm Judy Tierney and I'm a member of Minerva Dell Questers um, I don't know if you know about Questers but it's an 
international group started in 1944 in Philadelphia by Bess, Bess Bardens. And she and a group of friends were getting together, and I guess as friends, <coughs> oh, what is that, Bess? I don't know. Well, maybe we should find out. And from that, they decided that they'd start a antique study group. And it has grown and grown and grown. It's international. Um, we are number 33. That's 33 internationally. So we were the 33rd group to be formed. Um, we were formed in 1954. Now, we have, uh, we've done a few things in this, uh, in this beautiful dining room. Um, let me just go back and check my notes. I didn't want to get too long here, but um, in, we were formed in 54, and in 57, we got so big that they formed two more groups, Jean Baptiste mm -hmm. and Louise Constant. Now, those groups are disbanded now, unfortunately, like a lot of things that they just, we can't get the younger people to be interested in it. Um, but in 1973, that's when the group got together and they, they asked, and it wasn't <coughs> under the museum at that point in time, but they asked, what can we do to help preserve the dining room? the things in the dining room. So that was in 1973. In um, 1974, they donated the covered, I don't know if I see it or not, there's a compote, sawtooth compote around here someplace, which we donated. Um, that was in 74. And that was the same year that we started decorating the dining room at Christmas time. And in 1975, uh, we purchased the glass in these drawers that covers the uh, silverware. Mm -hmm. um, in 1994, it is a long time in between, <laughs> but we purchased these the chairs. chairs. We found them up in Pentwater, and the lady who found them was so excited and nobody was home, and she wanted to buy them, but she wasn't sure we sh whether she should or not. I mean, we ended up buying them and then presenting them to the museum and then they stood there and looked at them for 15 minutes before they told me that they were okay. <laughs> <laughs> we were nervous. <laughs> yes, we were nervous. Um, in 70, I, I should have, should go back though, in 1977 we started a project to replace this window. Mm -hmm. um, it never, <laughs> the project was not finished until 1980. And that's because one went in, the window was not right, we take it out, then we couldn't, I mean, it was, it, it was like a saga. But this is perfect, um, it's done by a lady who was a quester from Gross Eel, and um, she came, took pictures of all the other uh, windows in the house, and then found some antique glass to match it perfectly. So when you look at this, it doesn't look anything any different than all the yeah. others. But we don't know what happened to the first one. No one knows what happened to the first one. Um, and let's see. Then in 2004, we got a grant from Questers to um, refurbish these paintings. So that was another thing we did. And then we got this nice telephone call from Aaron saying, we found this. Bundy hot closet. <laughs> Would you Bundy. like to? Bundy. And uh, we, I said yes. We're sitting on some money, and then we're going to go for a grant and see if we can get most of the money to pay for this. Um, we're really pleased about it. We are too. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. awesome. It is awesome. It is. Well, thank you so much, Judy, well, for coming to speak today. Again. This is the Bundy Hot Closet. This is what we thought we would never find in all of our careers or all of our lives here. And um, it's been found. And thanks to the Questers, we have it here sitting in the Hackley Dining Room where you can see it all season long. We open on Monday, May 1st at 10 o'clock and we're open till 4. And we hope that you can come see us this summer. Um, and we look forward to your visit and showing you all the cool things that are happening at the historic sites. Thanks. See you later.